Scrolling through eBay ads looking for that next Casio to add to your collection. Do you look for a rare watch, a unique watch or a particular type of watch? I thought I'd share with you my personal top 10 vintage Casios based on collectability, popularity and rarity. I had no idea that putting together a top 10 like this would be so hard. If you're like me and have a passion for Casio watches, then trying to get a list down from around 100 to 10 was incredibly difficult. I'm sure your top 10 would be totally different, but I'd love to hear what you would put in this list. So go ahead and have your say in the comments below. Of course, if you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe, hit the like button, and don't forget the bell icon. So here it is, my personal top 10 vintage Casios. At number 10 we have the original Cassiotron 01-501, released in 1974, this was the maiden voyage of Casio watches. At number 9 we have the Casio W550, which many consider to be the original Marlin watch. From 1979 it carried the common 81 module. At number 8 we have the Casio AX5 from 1982. This is the Digi King with the melodies and the digital hands. I consider this to be the harder of the AX series to find because of its stainless steel case painted black and of course the AX series are notoriously bad for a screen bleed. At number 7 we have the Casio TM100, the novelty transmitter watch from 1987. This was released when CB radio was the social media of the time. With its black resin case and antenna, finding one of these in good condition will set you back a pretty high price tag. At number 6 is the Casio F100. This is the first Casio watch to be made with resin plastic and it is also a movie prop from the movie Alien, making this a highly desirable watch to acquire for your collection. It must be said that collectors do want to glue two of these together to mimic the prop so they're becoming harder and harder to find. At number 5 we have the Casio AE220. Now the twin graph watches are considered to be the most iconic of the 80s so they particularly sell well. The black plastic resin versions are pretty common but the stainless steel ones are not so common so you can expect to pay a pretty high price tag for a very good condition one of these. At number 4 we have the Casio GM20. Now, all Casio game watches are collectible, highly collectible I should say, and so it was difficult trying to single particular one out, so I chose the GM20 purely because of its aesthetics. At number 3 we have the Casio MM400 from 1983. Now all Casio Melody watches are collectible but this one in particular because of the rarity of it. Now the screen does suffer from screen bleed so finding one that's intact is pretty difficult. The unique item about this is the X mode selector in the corner. It makes it very unusual but very desirable amongst collectors. At number 2 we have the Casio DBX100 from 1986. Now this watch is very unique with its dot matrix display but what makes it particularly unique is that it was really poorly designed. The LCD is prone to screen bleed and the keypad just turns to mush after a few years. So finding one of these in top condition is virtually impossible but if you do find one expect to pay a lot of money for it. 
and at number one is the Casio CFX 400 a scientific calculator watch from 1985 now this particular watch is rare because of its decal keypad which seems to perish very rapidly and replacements are just impossible to find it's also the stainless steel version silver case of the CFX 40 yeah, in the time that I've been collecting watches I haven't seen any of these come up for sale so I'm going to be putting a lot of money out on it thank you for watching this top 10 if you have your comments about your top 10s please listen below in the comments section uh, if you're new to the channel uh, don't forget to subscribe and press that like button I have a lot more videos coming up so press that bell icon and you'll be notified when I release a new video so thanks for watching and see you next time. Ta-ra!